I'm back. So, hey guys, it's Daniel, the Brazos Valley Boards and Varmints. It has been too long. So, for those of y'all who don't know, about three years ago, this was November the 14th of 2019, I was driving down the highway, traffic came down to a standstill, so I stopped like I was supposed to, and I got hit by an 18-wheeler. Talk about a whirlwind change of my life. Um, I keep actually forgetting that it's the 14th. I keep trying to think of calling it the 13th because actually the 13th was the last normal bodily function day of my life. Um, there's a lot of left side problems like, man, I'm just going to have to deal with it, get over it, move on. Just, it, it's the new normal, right? That being said, I'm back. I have missed doing this. I have missed being a part of this community. I have missed doing the videos, purposely going out and, and making the hunts happen like a certain way as best as I can, right? I have really enjoyed doing those things for the however long I had been doing the channel, and I have missed doing that for the past three years. Obviously, whenever this whole thing happened to me we you know we were trying to look at what would be the best long-term option for us especially with trying to get the medical bills paid for all the for the multiple surgeries that i had done and the it sounded like the right course of action was to hire a team of people that that deal with that kind of stuff and those are called personal injury lawyers so and during all of this they told me you got to shut it all down your entire internet presence both for brazos valley boards and varmints both for yourself you got to lock that down. Um, you can't be doing much of anything at all. And so I just kept quiet, just did like they told me to. And that turned out pretty good. Like um, we are through with all of the lawsuit stuff. Um, it is done. I am happy with the results. But there's really not a whole lot of anything else I can talk about it. But now it's time to get things rebooted and going back again and i was thinking about what all i wanted to do for a reintroduction video I like all this super cool you know high action high adrenaline bang 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 all this stuff and i got to think about it's like man daniel just be real do what you normally do just be who you are and so when I started to really think about the theme of what I wanted this video to be out saying I'm back the big idea that just kept coming across my mind was thank you. Um, first off, I want to thank God for being the strength that he is every day in my life. I need to thank my family for loving me and taking care of me and helping me out in every way that they could possibly. Um, in the middle of all this stuff, you know, I, I was on narcotics for painkillers and I never got hooked to them, but due to the narcotics, I ultimately ended up losing a six-figure job and that hurt. Um, I want to say thank you to Glenn um, because as soon as that happened he took me on the job site and said come work for me and it wasn't what I'd been doing. Um, it was a totally different career but I'm so thankful that he as a small business owner could just make that happen. It gave me some time to put my feet back underneath me while able to still provide for my family and figure out what we're going to do where we're going to go. So I'm back to working inside of my field again, and so I'm really happy about that. But thank you, Glenn, for giving me that space and time. I need to say thank you to Jacob. He was amazing at the actual scene of the crash when he extracted me from my vehicle and you know got me on the stretcher to take me to the hospital. Um, he was very professional, very knowledgeable, very helpful. Um, that guy was great. Jacob, thank you very much. Um, I want to say thank you to my dear dear friends these are the loved ones that throughout the past three years they've just hurtled around me they've been calling texting been a part of my man groups um these are the guys that go out hunting with me that know who i am and help me stay along that path of being who i want to be thank you for all the love and support that you've given all the time 
I want to say thank you to the landowners that I do hunt for. Um, they've been very supportive, very helpful, very um, accommodating. They've, they've been great. They've always been nothing but wonderful, right? Um, and I want to say also thank you to this community. There's been several of y'all that have stayed in touch, asked, you know, hey, how things been going? How are things looking? When are you coming back? Um, and so thank y'all for those of y'all that, that have, have stayed in touch as well. That means so much to me. That's a big motivation for me on why I actually want to come back. Also, you're like, man, th apparently these people care. You know, I, I was doing something right, so I want to keep doing something right. And so then the next question is, well, Daniel, what is the next thing that you're going to be doing? What, what What's coming back? Is it going to be the same old, same old? Well, kind of, but I want to go deeper into each one of the things that I've been working on, right? Um, I've got a whole vehicle project that I really haven't talked that much about, and I've, I'm glad I didn't because now I've changed so many things on it. It's so much better. The next big thing that I really am going to be hitting hard for the next several videos is going to be talking about drones. I may have gotten one. But actually, it's kind of illegal to use those at night for the purposes of hunting right now. So we're going to be talking a lot about that kind of stuff. So we're going to be staying up with that. And then also, you know, I am not supported or financially backed or pro-staff with anybody. I'm none of those things, right? And so if I review a scope, it's because either I bought it or a friend of mine has it and I got to use it. And so now, like... I'm, I, I may be able to get more stuff, um, and I've had a chance to already be acquiring a lot of really cool gear in the meantime, and now it's just going to get better, so we'll be able to do a lot more review videos, a lot more comparison videos, but sticking along with that same theme of this is what thermal hog hunting looks like. And this is the tools of the trade. This is what's helpful. This is what I've been doing. This I hope that y'all learned something that y'all can take away from it. I hope that this is helpful. Um, I hope y'all enjoy this. And so, guys, I just can't explain how much I miss doing this and how thankful I am to be back. So, guys, have fun. Be yourself. Be true. Love you. I'll see y'all a lot more. Bye.